Hi guys, this is Stefan Zamit from NeuronFX.com and in this video series, we're going to have a look at how we can use the Animal Animation Explainer Toolkit right inside of After Effects and we're going to have a look at all the features that come with it and how we can construct characters, pre-made animations and more. So, once you download the project, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to unzip or extract your folder, so make sure that you have unzipped and extracted your folder before you start using it so that After Effects can access the folders properly in here. Once that is done, you should see these folders right over here. So in the first folder, we have the Animal Character Studio. So if we double click on that, we can see the Animal Character Studio in here and then the Animal Character presets right over here. So these are the presets that we are going to install. We will see this in video 02. And then this is the actual character that we will be using. If we go to animation presets in here 02, in, in here we will see the animal character animations in here that we have included with the toolkit and also the object animations. And in here we will see the EGIF animation preview of each animation. So let's have a quick look of this. If we enter inside the animal character animations in here, we can see a quick preview of all the animations in here. So let's just jump into one of these. And there you have it. You have a preview for each animation. So you can go ahead and come to here and see all the animations before you start using them so that you know which animation you would like to use with your, with your video. And if we go to back to the folder in here, the next one is the scene designer. So this is where you will uh, construct your own scenes, add elements, and inside the scene designer you will find all the objects, all the images um, that comes with the toolkit. Here's the help videos which you have found since you are watching this help video, and then you also have the user guide which we really recommend looking into if you have any problems in there since we have loads of information packaged for you right inside of the user guide.